Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motion Array. Now I'm an avid fan of Final Cut Pro, but we all know there are lots of other video editors out there, and we each have our own opinions as to which is best. So in this video, you're going to hear our honest review, what we love about Final Cut Pro, what we wish was a little bit different, and at the end, we'll summarize it all up. So there's a lot to love about Final Cut Pro, and to start it all off, the pricing model is one of those. Final Cut Pro remains to be one of the only industry standard editing programs that comes with a one-time fee and no yearly subscription or having to pay for updates. While $299 may seem like a pretty hefty upfront cost, if you start to use your program year over year over year, that becomes very competitive against other pricing models. Plus, once you purchase the software outright, you're entitled to all future updates directly through the App Store. And since you can connect your Apple ID with multiple devices, Final Cut Pro allows you up to five computers running Final Cut Pro under the same Apple ID. That also means you can download Final Cut Pro on five other computers, all connected by the same Apple ID. Whereas with Premiere Pro, you only get two. And if you ask us, that makes Final Cut Pro a very attractive option for a non-linear editing software. Now on the topic of suite, Final Cut Pro is an extremely intuitive and easy to learn software. Now, if you're a fan of Apple products, Final Cut Pro comes with a very clean interface and easy to access controls that aren't hidden away inside menu structures. It's almost as though Final Cut Pro has an app-like quality to it. It's also built on the ease of access that comes with iMovie and something that early video editors love is that drag and drop feature to apply different effects, transitions, and titles. While it's easy to pick up and learn, it's also a very robust tool for the seasoned pros. Now, of course, you will find other editing options hidden away in the menu structures, but these are more advanced features, like multicam editing, for example, that you may not want to get to until you're further into your editing career. And of course, with that Apple look and feel, much of the work is done behind the scenes, which Apple users have come to love. One of those in particular is the background rendering. Now, of course, the speed at which your Final Cut Pro can render depends on your computer specs, the footage quality you're using, and what effects you've added to your footage. But that all being done in the background will save you a ton of time when you come to export. While we're on the topic of things happening in the background, Final Cut Pro has an incredibly useful autosave feature. Losing hours of work is every editor's nightmare. So Final Cut Pro's autosave feature will save your work automatically at timed intervals. And having been working with Final Cut Pro and that autosave feature, not having an autosave save feature would make me very unstable. And what we found to be incredibly stable is Final Cut Pro. Now, if you're clued into the video editing space, you may have seen memes all over the place about other softwares crashing and losing work. While working with such large and complex files, no program can be 100% crash proof. However, Final Cut Pro is built on a very solid foundation which makes crashes very irregular. And just for peace of mind, the autosave feature should really help you out. Now onto our final item of our non-exhaustive list of what we love about Final Cut Pro, and that's plugin expansion. While there are some titles, transitions, and effects built into Final Cut Pro, the library isn't huge. However, Final Cut Pro has made it incredibly easy to import and install third-party plugins, ranging from free all the way up to paid. And on that note, if you are looking for thousands of free and paid plugins for Final Cut Pro to make your videos really stand out, check out Motion Array. While we do admit that not every program is perfect, it's only fair that we share some of the drawbacks to Final Cut Pro. And to start that off, Final Cut Pro is only compatible with Macs. Now, if you're a die-hard Apple fan, this may not be a concern to you. However, if you're working and collaborating with other users, they must also have Macs to be able to edit and share files across Final Cut Pro. Now, we do understand that you may not be working in collaborative teams. However, there may be a point in your career where you are working on a big project that's shared across multiple editors. Because Final Cut Pro doesn't have any cloud-based functionality, unlike Premiere Pro, it makes it extremely difficult to share files and work on files together 
with other editors, even if they are on Mac and using Final Cut Pro 2. While you can share your video files and your XML file, you may find that another editor you're working with doesn't have the same plugin and they may end up not being able to render out certain parts of your video. It's just something to keep in mind. Now that brings us back onto drawback number three, and that's to do with the lack of advanced audio editing. While Final Cut Pro does give you the ability to adjust audio and add audio effects, it really lacks any of the major features you need to edit audio up to a professional standard. Like in Premiere Pro, for example, you get viewing audio data, constant power, and parametrics equalizer are some really good tools. And if you want more control of the audio inside Final Cut Pro, you're gonna to have to jump over to Logic, which is Apple's version of Adobe Audition. Speaking of other apps, Final Cut Pro wasn't specifically designed for creating special effects, which is why Apple created Motion. Essentially, Apple's Motion is like the After Effects to Premiere Pro. So if you want to create an extremely specific effect or transition or a new title, you're going to have to go over to Motion, which comes with a one-time fee of $50. But thankfully, it's nowhere near as much as another $299 like Final Cut Pro costs. Having said that, what's great about Apple's Motion is that once you've saved the effect you've created, it automatically imports into Final Cut Pro. Having to install other programs like Motion and Logic brings us onto our final drawback, and that's the integration of Logic and Motion with Final Cut Pro. When compared with Adobe's Creative Suite, Logic and Motion just don't seem to function as seamlessly with Final Cut Pro. It's almost as like they're functioning in their own silos. So if you're wanting to create a video effect or an audio effect, you have to take your footage out into motion, create your effect, and then import back into Final Cut Pro rather than just being able to open up that clip inside Logic or Motion. So there you have it. Should you choose Final Cut Pro as your new editing software? As long as you and your collaborators are happy working on Macs, Final Cut Pro could be a great tool to pick up for your team since it's so intuitive. And why that upfront cost of $299 may seem like a lot now, it's going to save you a ton of money down the line. Then again, the limitations of Final Cut Pro may force you to purchase third-party plugins or logic and motion just to be able to keep up with what other editing softwares offer. So guys, that's it from me. And I hope you found this honest review of Final Cut Pro helpful. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you.